Okay. Hey. I know I look like a mess today, but it's fine. Also, I got a new setup. This is as this is my gay pride flag. It's a great time. I still have yet to come up with a name for him, even though I got him last 2015 <laughs> for my birthday. So, as you can tell by the title, it's a CD collection. Not much to it. Um, I'm just a disclaimer. I am not trying to brag like whatsoever. Like everyone has something they collect. CDs are mine, and I just really like watching these. <laughs> so, yeah. Before we start, I have two that came in the mail today. So, and I haven't put them in my collection yet because they're by alphabetical order. But first, I have. Around the world of back by state champs and the finer things, also by state champs. So, yeah, cool. First, I have put up or shut up by all time low. They were the first band I ever got into, so I have all of their CDs. Besides, I was gonna say, don't panic, I have that. I have all their CDs besides Dirty Work and Don't Panic It's Longer Now. So, yeah. This is what it looks like. I have So Wrong It's Right. It's my favorite all time low album. It's so. Like, I love it. I love it so much. Uh, I have nothing personal. A classic emo album and the little cassette tape CD. Um, I have straight to DVD, which is sweet. I'm not gonna take the CDs out because there's two of them. One is all the music that they played in it, and one is the actual movie, so your documentary, whatever. And then I have the MTV Unplugged. <laughs> I don't know why I got this. I got this at Warp Tour in 2015. It was five bucks, so I was like, I'm gonna buy it. So I did. And it's just their performance, plus the songs they played. They played Damned If I Do Ya, yeah, Damned If I Don't, Coffee, Coffee Shop Soundtrack, Remembering Sunday, JC Ray, Waitlist, and Dear Maria Count Me In on this, so. And I have Don't Panic. A staple. You aren't a real emo if you don't have this. <laughs> and I have Future Hearts. Cool. And then straight to DVD too. So. So. I saw this band for the first time live. Last year in February. <sighs> and then. They switched out members again. And I've, this has been one of my favorite bands for four years. Four years. And I've seen the member switch from one person to the other person and then back to the original guy. So, from death to destiny, I still don't have Reckless and Relentless or Stand Up and Scream, which is sad. I need it. So yeah, it's just. It looks like that. Then I have The Black, which is probably my favorite album. Like, I don't care that Dennis sings on this. I love Dennis. Death. He needs to come back, make music. Like, I don't care if he's in asking or not, but like, he needs to make music. I love his voice <laughs> so much. And then, that's what the CD looks like. Cool. Also, I love this picture of them. And I miss them to when I was um, real emo. And I've talked about Black Veil Brides before, but I hate myself for this. So, first we have Set the World on Fire. I don't have, um, we stitched these wounds. Oops. That's my favorite album by them, besides Wretched and Divine, so. And CD looks like that. And then we have, oh, that was out of order for a second. Oh, yeah. 
Retched and Divine. I think this is just the regular version. And then I have their self-titled, which I got with the VIP thingy for the Black Mass Tour back in 2014. I can't. It won't open. Okay. All their CDs are like the same. It's just their like star thing. Or whatever. I saw them in 2014 and they were like one of the only bands I knew at Warp Tour. So it's Breathe Carolina Savages. And oh, it's really weird. The CD, it's white and red. I almost said black. It's white and red. Um, I can never say this word. There is a hell. Believe me, I've seen it. There is a heaven. Let's keep it a secret. I bring me the horizon. And I love this CD so much. This is my favorite Bring Me The Horizon album. Like, I love the back of it a lot. Um, that's what the inside looks like. Cool. I got this as a birthday present from my friend. And there was a poster in it, but she took it out. So now it's like, it looks like this. It's some paternal, but she took out the poster, so... Yeah, that, I don't even have to open it. You can see it. It's just the Sun Paternal logo. Like, everyone knows it. I got this at Warp Tour this last year. I keep forgetting it's 2017. Haha. <laughs> I have American Beauty, American Psycho by all time. Er, <laughs> Fallout Boy, the CD. And then Save Rock and Roll. Whatever. Oh my god, I don't know how this goes. Okay. That, yeah. And then from under the cork tree. Everyone knows. Ooh. This is one of my favorite albums, like, ever. And she's queen. She like she's my actual queen. So it's Badlands by Halsey. I love Ash so much. And it's just a light pink. I love Ashley so much. <laughs> Next band I've been obsessed with since like 2015. Yeah, like 2015. <laughs> They're a great band. <laughs> so I have issues self titled. I don't know where the sleeve for this went, but that's what it looks like the front of it. And then. It's not that special. It just has issues on it. And then Headspace, which is a 10 out of 10 album. This gives me, like, this reminds me of the 1975. What? Maine. American Candy. I love the Maine so much. And, like, I love this. It says, control what you can't. Control what you can, confront what you can't. I love the main. I saw them for the first time 2016 warped and I was barricade front and center. It was great. More of me being really emo. Okay. Black Parade, cool. A staple emo album. Like, if you don't have this, are you really emo? That's what it looks like. I got this in Wisconsin on a trip with my grandma, so I have the greatest hits by Death Never Stop You. I miss them. They should come back so I can see them. And my dog is whining. Yeah. Okay, hi. I'm back. I had to let my dogs out. So, continuing, we have The Flood by Mice and Men. I'm really sad Austin left. <laughs> yeah. Austin left of Mice and Men as of... I think it was January 1st he tweeted it. I don't know, but that's what this looks like. There's two sides. There's two sides. Two CDs. Good English. We have Restoring Force by Mice and Men. Cool. 
it just looks like this. It's just plain black with the ampersand on it. Cool. And then we have Too Weird to Live, Too Weird to Die. And this is what started out my CD collection. Like this CD and other ones that I'll show later. <laughs> It looks like this. I love the aesthetic of this. Like, it's so pretty. And then we have Death of a Bachelor. I love Panic. I want to see them in March, but I don't know if I'm going to because Pierce the Veil is probably touring this year and so might Paris be, so I have to save my money because I'm already going to three shows. No, four shows. Four shows now because I'm going to go, I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's called Nash. It's the guy who did the instrumentals and featured on Olivia's song, I Hate You, I Love You. So, yeah. I don't know if I showed this, but. Ooh, help me. So, here's a flare for the dramatic. This, I'm sorry, this is my least favorite album of theirs. <laughs> cool, it looks like that. I love the colors of this, though. And then this is Selfish Machines. This is my second favorite. It just says Selfish Machines and it's like, it's not a, like a navy blue, it's like a faded blue. And then I have This is a Wasteland and um, Collide with the Sky. So yeah, the CDs always fall out. So this is, this is This is a Wasteland and then the back side is Clyde with the sky, so. Okay, a little story behind this. I paid $18 for this. Just for this. I hate myself so much. I paid $18. I could have paid 11 could have bought another CD and then I'm really gay so white noise I need to get um I forgot what their acoustic album is called the first one the EP y'all know what I'm talking about okay because only love I'm the number one only love stan and you everyone else can fight me <laughs> so this is what it looks like Cool. And then another sampler I got, I think this summer, I think I got this at Warp 2016. And then I got Between the Roses by Civic and Fly. I bought this for like, I think it was like $10 for this and a poster, I think. I was gonna have him sign this, but I was an idiot and I'm really awkward when I meet people, so I had him sign a piece of paper that's on my wall over there. Oh, fun fact. I've seen Brayden twice and he's only come here twice. He came here for Warp 2015 and then he came here for the Somewhere Before Christmas tour and I saw him both times. I'm a dedicated fan, not that many left, so. Okay. And we have Let's Cheers to This, my favorite Sleeping Sirens album, and probably their best one. Like, it's not even like, it's my favorite, so it's their best. No, it's like their best album. So, that's what it looks like. And I, Postcards and Polaroids is my favorite Sleeping with Sirens song, and they need to play it live. <laughs> like, they need to. Uh, if this was a movie, this would be your soundtrack. Acoustics. Cool. It's not acoustics, it's like more soft music. And then I feel the little feather. I can't. Cool. I never take this out of the packaging, and I don't know why, but like, it's fine. I keep getting interrupted. My sister came home. Cool. Okay. And then we have... I forgot what this was called for a second, but I have The Other Side by Tonight Alive, and it's signed. 
buy all of them because I bought it at Future Hearts Tour. Okay. And then it's just a navy pink, olive. That's the word I was looking for. Olive green. Oh shit, no, it won't close. And we have a vessel. Cool. I'm emo. I need 21 pilots. Cool. And then blurry face. villain of the story I'm wearing their merch and I'm going to see them on the 28th cool <laughs> like they better love me because I'm I've been there since December 2014 and that's when they had like three songs out so <laughs> yeah yeah it just looks like this oops my phone's dying. Cool. And we have Cluster. And it's signed because I met them at Warped. Cool. And Jeff is like my favorite. There's a heart on it. He's so cute. It looks like this. Cool. And Double Dare. The album of the century. The Bible. Oh. Sh I almost dropped it. Don't drop it. And then the Warp Tour 2015 album. Cool. There's two CDs. I don't want to take them out. So yeah. And then I got this when I saw Villain of the Story for the first time in 2014, and it was free, so I took it. <laughs> I really don't think they're a band anymore. I think they broke up. <laughs> so that's great. Let me see if I can take the CD out. And that's it. I'm a piece of trash who spends all of her money on CDs. Like, I'm so serious. I got two in the mail today. But I got one one of them for free, so I only paid $5. So, that was great. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'm a piece of trash. Y'all already knew this. Especially from the first video. Like, first actual video. Besides the vlog that I put up on Wednesday, because this is go- the vlog is gonna go up Wednesday. And this is gonna go up Sunday, so... Okay. Um, so, yeah. I hope you enjoyed. I don't know what else to say. I'm a piece of trash.